What's up, guys? It's Fred Giles, and it's a beautiful Friday here in Greenville, South Carolina. Woo! And uh, it's hot out here, but we got sort of a special maximized moment on this Friday, and I want to talk about it a little bit. Uh, we're going to get into it, and uh, I'm ready. I hope you're ready. Let's go. That's the rock. Um, guys, today we are talking about LeBron James. That's right, LeBron James, the man, the legend. Some of y'all call him the GOAT. Some of y'all call him whatever you call him. This video is not to determine whether he's the greatest of all time or not, or whether he's Michael Jordan on that level, none of that. This video is about talking about some lessons that we can learn, principles we can learn from LeBron James and his playing. Specifically, I'm gonna say from this series. Now, I know there are a lot of folks who are uh, diehard LeBron James fans, and I'm not trying to make you mad, but I got two different things that we're gonna pull from what I've seen right quick in this series. First of all, LeBron James is by far one of the greatest players alive. He may not be, to me, the GOAT, the greatest of all time, but he is definitely the greatest of this time. And I'm a huge KD fan, so I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that out there. But, Ron is definitely uh, a great, great player. I was just thinking about this still. The fact is, he is a great player, but that might be, that might be the thing that hurts him the most. Because when you're a great player, if you don't have great players surrounding you, it's easy to think that you got to do it all by yourself. And we, you know, it's, it's like that in life. It's like that in leadership, all that kind of stuff. When you're surrounded by people that may not be quite to your level, sometimes, most of the time, just about all the time, you will find yourself doing stuff on your own and not really asking for help. LeBron, again, one of the greatest players ever. The questions I pose to some folks is, whether or not he actually trusts his teammate. That's up for debate. Hey, every game he's holding the ball, he's got to put a lot of points on the board. If he don't, it's more than likely they're not going to win. Problem is, is when you face a team like the Warriors, they're a team. They got great players all around, and so you got to be ready for that. And no matter how great you are by yourself, if you don't trust your team, then you're probably gonna lose the battle. The other thought that I had, we'll move on to this, is maybe, just maybe, he's too great for the team he's on. I'm not a basketball player. Matter of fact, I'm terrible. Ask my wife. She she can she can attest, right, Aaron? She's behind the camera, guys. She she will tell you and let you know I am completely terrible at basketball. My brother used to be a basketball player. He played in the league, the WBA. Boy, is he insane me it's like god skipped right over me with that time. he was like nah, i don't want to give that to fred because fred is uh now nah, we just, basketball not me all that to say can't really make a judgment on how well these guys play i can only base it on what i see them playing with so i know for a fact they're way better than me but most of them may not be on lebron's level and when you are a great player and you're surrounded with people who are typically not on your level of playing, you feel like you gotta carry the weight. You feel like you gotta do it all. And sometimes, guys, you just need a change of team. It's just a change of team. Listen, I'm just pulling principles from LeBron. I'm not saying LeBron needs to change. This is not a basketball video. This is a principle video. This is me saying to you, in your life, wherever you are, maybe you're struggling with the fact that in you is greatness, but somehow you keep still losing the battle. Well, I, I would say check your team. Maybe you need to trust your team more, or maybe you just need to change teams. 
I don't know. You'll have to be the judge of that decision. If you want to win the battle, you're going to have to invite and put a little more weight on the team around you. In your life, that could be friends and family in leadership, especially if you're a church leader, that's your team, whatever it may be. So I want to encourage y'all today for this Maximize Moment. Learn these two principles. The way you lead, greatness in you, will always be greater when you connect to a team. The greatness in you will always allow you to win the battle when you create, <clears throat> when you're connected with a team. The more you trust your team, or the more you get around people who can handle your greatness and match your greatness, I guarantee you, you'll see more and more wins every day. All right, folks, I'm just gonna say, it's been a special Maximize moment this Friday. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If this is your first time on this channel, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Punch it in the face. What you waiting for? Hey, we got some great stuff planned. We're back on our regular, normal video schedule next week, and uh, I can't wait to see you. Ha! So uh, talk to me in the comments below. Let me know what's going on in your life. All right, holla at you, boy. Peace out.